Hello, everybody. My name is Bill Gaither, and I work in Sandbridge Marketing and PR office. If we want to take a few minutes and meet with Vicki McMullen, she's part of our student services team. Vicki, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you, what you do at the college. I've been a counselor now for uh, about 23 years at Sandburg, at three years part-time, and the rest has been full-time. It's been an honor and a joy. I work with a lot of really great students. I've learned a lot from them, and I, I, I truly do love my job. I can say I love my job more on campus now. I, working from home has been interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever gone through anything like this in your career? No. Nope. No. No. Nope, no. Nope, nope. And hopefully we, we never we will never again. But yeah, this has been quite the experience. And I know a lot of people are struggling with anxiety and um, fear. And actually, counseling counseling over the last couple of years has increased on campus. And a lot of it has been anxiety related. Ironically, since this whole uh, coronavirus thing, I would have expected that counseling would have increased too, because we are still continuing to do counseling appointments via the phone, or we can do Zoom appointments but they actually have decreased a little bit. And I don't, I'm trying to figure out why that is. I know a lot of times anxiety related uh, issues would come up like social anxiety. So of course we're not having those social issues as much. I don't know if it's people just are not comfortable on the phone. I'm, I'm not quite sure, but there have been a lot more impromptu mini counseling during advising because we're in the middle of it, uh, fall registration and summer registration. So there's been a lot more of just impromptu. When you have students come in and they talk to you about some of this kind of stuff, what are some of those coping mechanisms that you share with them, how they can kind of, how they can kind of stave this off and work through this? A big thing, one, probably one of the main thing is to, is to have students think about what they're thinking about and we can look at belief systems and like what they're believing about life, about, about this virus, about themselves, about their future, etc. Because I was just listening to this, uh, Oh, it's kind of an Indian sage guru, and he was having he was talking about how we have the gift of memory and we have the gift of imagination. And when we use those for positive, and we have wonderful memories, but we can also have those traumatic memories or those guilt memories. And it, when people live there, it creates anxiety and depression. And and then imagination, if you know, we can imagine and create all kinds of awesome things, but we can also create worst case scenarios and especially with this coronavirus there's some people that are living there too and so it's important to think about what you're thinking about like i would say mindfulness meditation is awesome being in the moment because when we're in the moment we can't be in the past we can't be in the future we can't be you know in our memories or in the future so i would say google some mindfulness meditation things call me i have all kinds of resources um but practice mindfulness. If you find yourself going negative, if you find yourself being in worry or fear, breath work is extremely important because and it's also good for the immune system. If we're in a panic or crisis mode, which a lot of us are walking around in with our sympathetic nervous systems hyperactive, and so it's important to calm them down, and breath work is probably the best thing to do for that. Um, Jerry Kander, she's taught on campus. She has her own business, but she sa she says three deep breaths through the nose kick in the uh, parasympathetic nervous system, and so three deep breaths through the nose and deep breathing into your belly. Um, you can also practice like five by five breathing. So it's five breaths in, five breaths out. You can. Uh, there's also four, seven, eight breathing. So it's breathe in for four, hold for seven and then exhale for eight. So anything you can do to bring yourself into the moment and, and an awareness of what's going on rather than past or future thinking, so. That's perfect, and that's something that everybody can begin to do right now, even as they're watching this. Yes, so, and when you can, when you get out of the sympathetic mode and you relax, it's better, healing happens when we're relaxed. Healing can't really happen if we're in a crisis stress mode. And so for our immune system alone, we, you want to practice relaxation. If we do have some students who are in a position where they, they see this and they want to get a hold of you or get a hold of Dan, who's also in our advising office, how do they contact you? Call our the main office. It's 309-341-5237, and you can get an appointment scheduled. You can also call me directly. My phone number is 341-5423. That's my office. You can also schedule a counseling appointment through Starfish now. So... Uh, if you just need to talk, if you need some encouragement, please call. 
So we can hook you up with resources. We can help help you. So that's what we're here for. Wonderful. Vicki's one of the resources that we have here again at Carl Simber College. We're going to be doing this every Wednesday as part of a Wellness Wednesday theme. And so, Vicki, we appreciate you taking some time with us today. We'll be coming back with Dan Yacinko and with BJ Fox in the next couple of Wednesdays here. So thank you, guys. All right. Thank you. Stay healthy, everybody.